next um, step is what we call replace the step. Replacing the foot, and it's very much like the unweighted foot term. In fact, I would say it's the most common, really the most common natural way that one would change which foot is forward. Now, we have a strong side and a weak side. Generally, you keep your strong side in reserve or back. So, for instance, if, say, Rose were my, were my opponent, I would tend to have my right side, which is my strong side, back, right? And uh, so I'm, now, as we circle, I would like to be circling this way because I'm keeping my strong side back. If we start to circle in the other direction, all of a sudden, my strong side is in the front. Now, let's say I've gotten into this position and I want to do a technique. So I want, to, I want my, my strong side back so I can use it for full power. So what I'm going to do is just change my foot, just a little, kind of a little hoppy motion, and now I have this foot forward. And then I can then use the power from my, my stronger back side. So it's called replace step, and it's used uh, in a lot of different moves, particularly in the applications forms, the partner forms of Tai Chi. Most teachers don't use it too much in the solo form. I tend to put it in a little bit. Most people don't do it. But it's used in things like step up, deflect, downward, and punch. Now watch this, for instance, coming back, replace the foot and step, you see and go off. Or partition of the wild horse's mane, coming back. Replace. So instead of, I could do an, an unweighted turn here, come back, turn out, shift, step. I could do a weighted foot turn here, keep the weight forward, and step. You'll see, I mean, some people do that, some people do each of these. I am doing this. Lift. So one of the special qualities of this is it also allows me, when I'm doing this, say my partner is out like for a partition of the wild horse's mane, my partner's coming in. Well, this allows me to, when I'm stepping, to kick her as I'm coming over, you see. That I can use this as a kick or a stomp and then change my, my side. So that's what's called replace step. So if we just do a, a replace step, we go from here we shift back, lift up, placing it basically in the same spot, but uh, a little bit more of an angle. Then step ahead and shift. Coming back, lift up, replace. Get the weight on it, sink your weight, step and out. Okay, so that's what we call the replace step. Now the next way that we move is a very uh, straightforward kind of movement. It's called step up. Step up. And it's a way to change this distance or relationship between you and your partner. For instance, if I'm, she's back there, she's there, and I'm here. Now I'm a little bit, I'm, I'm, I've got the side, my strong side back, but I'm a little too far. So what I'll do is, just lift up the forward foot, replace it in a little bit, and come in and bring the other foot back up, right? So, now, she's start, starting to feel a little pressure, right? So she wants to, she's going to do the other, the next step, which is step back. So as I step up, she just steps back, you see? And we can, you see? We can, we can go around and change our relationships, right? And uh, I can step back and she's, you always want to kind of keep around the same kind of relationship. So this is what's called step up and step back. The step, you, a lot, you can kick during this process too, right? Okay, so it's used in the Tai Chi form, for instance, in like from going from left brush knee, the step up to play the fiddle Right. So we bring the foot up and then step forward. Right. It's used in raised hands. We step backward going from slanting flying. We 
replace back. You see? You, replacing allows you to, if I could do, so mostly in the form here, I'm going to say that we, as we practice it, I step back a little bit. But I could just as easily step up. I could just as easily step slightly to the side. I could just as easily step a little bit this direction. See, this step up and step back is a very simple, fast, straightforward way of moving. Okay? So the next uh, stepping is retreating. Retreating is, is when we say in Tai Chi, there's no such thing as a really as a retreat. There's only a changing position for a, a different a advantageous position, moving back to gain, to gain a different advantageous position. So when she does her, if here we are, when she does her forward step, if she's going to step and change her side and kind of step in this way, okay, if I don't move, she's going to get behind me and I'm in trouble. Okay, if she does that and I step back, uh, that's not too bad and it's done sometimes, but generally what we like to do is matching steps. When she steps in this one, I step in this way. So basically, if she steps ahead again, I am, this was called the retreat step. As she steps in, I step back at the same time, okay? And as she steps in, she steps in, steps in. Okay, so the retreat step is used in things like step back and repulse the monkey, where uh, either she's punching inward and I go back with it and neutralize, you see? Like that. Or she's grabbed me, she's grabbed me, and I decide I'm going to knock her off, so I come back, that kind of thing. So um, in, in, in stepping back, you have to be very careful. Now, if, you, if we look at this, if we look at this square, the tendency on stepping back is to kind of come at it narrow. In Tai Chi, we always want to keep the shoulder width. So if you're looking at this square, When you step back, I want to step back basically to this intersection. You see, so that, so that you keep this same relationship. So the tendency is when you're doing this from, from say if it's wide, is to, when I step back to get narrow. You see now, I don't have very much base of support. So what you want to do is when you step, you step nice and wide. This is a little short again for me. But, so now you have this nice, uh, uh, bow and sit stance. So when you're doing your retreat step, make sure you, you keep it nice and wide.